relationship with. Said he needs to get himself together. He wants to get himself together and therefore you guys need to take a break. But don't give up on him. He still loves you. He still wants you. He understands if you just, if you just, if you're just not going to be available no more. But right now he just needs to get himself together. His mental health and everything. BS. And that whole, oh, you know, I understand you might want to go date somebody else. I hope you don't. But if you do, I understand. Is him being really convinced that because you're so emotionally tied into him and because he's giving you such a great reason as to why he wants to take a break that you're not really going anywhere especially if you're the type of woman that don't like to start all over real quickly this is kind of abrupt or something like that and, and the whole reason I wouldn't even want to talk about this is because after my last video I, I did a, a video for those of you over the age of 40 I feel like your dating approach has to evolve the same way that you've had to evolve right so I did a free video and afterwards I took questions that video is down at the link in the comments by the way but a woman asked me like what if a man is saying something along the lines of he wants to be single for a bit or go back to being single because his mental health is not there? He, he's not in a good place mentally. He, he, want, he doesn't feel like himself. And right now, a relationship is just too much. I'm going to tell you, he just gave you too much BS. And I'm not one to play with mental health. There are some reasons why a man may need to back off. And let me give you something so you can use your intuition and your discernment. If you guys are just dating... That man may have something happen, you know, the loss of a loved one, money issues, you know, or, or even feelings kind of flaring up, trust issues, and he realized, oh, I'm not ready to go full forward into a relationship. That man may need to back off then because you guys are not established enough for him to be vulnerable with you and tell you all of these things. And therefore, instead of feeling like a burden, he wants to back off. Not saying it's okay. Of course, this is not a fun situation, but a man could absolutely be telling you the truth then. But when a man says he wants to take a break and y'all already deep in a relationship, y'all already six months plus, y'all just monogamous, period. Y'all are understood to be in a committed relationship and he tries that with you. I'm going to tell you one of the reasons he might be saying that is because he's having singlehood withdrawals. Singlehood withdrawals. He's, he's literally missing the single life. It was easy to switch up when things got uncomfortable or when a woman caught an attitude and now he can't do that and he wants to go back to the streets. Or somebody's calling, he wants to go back to the streets. Or he used to be out every weekend, he wants to go back to the, his DMs is blowing up, whatever it is. He's having some type of withdrawals. Now, the reason why I want to really say this is because mental health ain't nothing to joke with. Mental health ain't nothing to joke with. But when a man can get enough of you, you can never be too much for him. If you're that man's safe space, like he may claim to do whenever he's trying to let you down softly, you're the last person he wants to get away from whenever he's having any type of mental health strain. Again, this is not to come at dudes who got mental health. I've, I've had it myself. I know people. I take mental health se very seriously. Which is why I want to separate those who are using it from a disingenuous place from those who are genuinely having those issues. If you're in a relationship with a man and his mental health is really messed up, what he's going to want to do is come closer to you. If you are a safe place, by the way, use your discernment here. If you ever joked, joked at him, laughed at him because he was vulnerable or crying or something like that, this ain't talking to you. But for you ladies out there who have always made it safe for your man to come to you, You've never treated him like less of a man because he needed to talk about some stuff that was very emotional or whatever. Those of y'all, please do not take that whole my mental health is the reason why I need to be single for a while. He ain't about to do nothing to make it better. All he about to do is go make it worse. Go get entangled with some other spirits. And then when you sitting there waiting for him, come back and bring those same demonic spirits that he went and got through soul ties with other women in his singleness back to you. So if a man is giving you that whole home oh, and mental health, I need to get myself together. No. Now, again, if y'all are just dating, that's that's a whole different story. <clears throat> y'all are too early in for him to be able to say some things to you. So he may feel like, you know, this version of me is, is too soft. It's too vulnerable. It's too scary. You know, and that's a whole different conversation to have. But one thing a guy will do when he really just want to be single again is pull that whole my mental health. I need to get myself together card. Another reason why a man is going to take a break from you, like truly take a break from you, is because he's insecure with his ability to lead you. You see, men like to be in relational dynamics they feel like they can succeed in. So if a man is insecure about his money or his capacity intellectually to be able to continue taking you higher, in which, you know, as a relationship goes on, a man continues to get to know you, even if he knew you well enough to fall in love and be with you to begin with. And then on top of that, you may be continuing to go to new heights as a woman. 
So if a man gets really insecure with that, he could absolutely want to run for the hills. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what it, a lot of times y'all, y'all outgrow your man. And even though you want to be in denial about it, he can't be in denial about it. And so he wake up every day because really that's just the insecurity that gets reiterated with him that he's not where he should be in life. That insecurity, that demon of insecurity gets aggravated every time you shine, every time you accomplish. So I, be, I was talking about this to my email subscribers recently. Y'all got to stop laying up with your biggest blessing blocker while asking God to bless you. And, and, and I'm not saying he's a horrible dude. Just horrible to be with because he's insecure. So a lot of times a guy will also say, hey, I don't, know, I don't know if I can be in this relationship. He'll find a way to sabotage his way out because he don't know if he can take you up. And that's the guy that honest truth. Another thing that a lot of people don't like to admit and, and, and when it comes to men who want to take a break after being in a serious relationship is that they don't know how to handle conflict. You got a lot of men who don't who do not know how to handle conflict. Let me know if I'm talking to anybody. Put I down in the chat if you've ever been with a guy, he broke up with you. And then he was the one begging to come back. He broke up with you. You were such a bad person. You were so stressful. You were so not understanding, so not being peaceful, whatever it is, hard to deal with. Put I down in the chat. If the man that broke up with you was the exact same man, that came back begging for another shot. This is an example of a man who honestly just can't handle conflict. So he runs. He runs instead of having that conversation. He runs instead of sitting with that discomfort of his ego really needing to be checked. It's much easier for him to just run, shut down. And I'm going to tell you the second part to that in just a second. But I'm giving y'all the light end of why a guy may take a break. Because there's two that are really manipulative. The first one is because it really keeps you on a string. It keeps you on a string emotionally while keep, while allowing him to cut loose and do whatever he wants to do. So because it's so abrupt, this is kind of what I was talking about in singlehood withdrawals. Because it's so abrupt, he knows you're not in a space to really just move on. Here's the thing about good women. Good women, and I know some of y'all can get mad at this, but really good women, they don't move on that quick. It, it's just not that quick. You may move on abruptly after a relationship ends if you already had checked out. But good women tend to need a little time, a little breather emotionally, because what you open up to that man, you can't just open up to anybody. And because during a relationship, you are not already scouting and keeping people on, in a dugout, you really don't have somebody just ready to jump off and go be with. Even if you got physical with somebody, you weren't ready to open your heart up again. So what a guy would do is he'll abruptly out of nowhere, break up with you. And say, hey, I got about two to three business days, two to three business weeks before I got to come back into the relationship. And that time, I know she's going to be trying to pick herself up. She's going to be sitting with us, you know, trying to heal and stuff like that. She ain't going to be so quick to move on. So that's the time that he'll go do whatever he's going to do. But by cutting him loose, though, if he already know, he'll warm you up for leaving you. If he's starting to miss singlehood or whatever the case is. And he'll cue that whole thing up where he'd say, oh, we need to take a break. Da, 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 da. And in that time, of course, there's no laws. There's no rules. There's no regulations. But he gets the comfort of you ain't going nowhere. You ain't doing nothing because you you're a different breed. And for those type of women, I'm not mad at you. Although I don't think it necessarily takes years to heal every single time that you get hurt. I absolutely believe if you use the right strategies, you can heal pretty quickly. But for those of y'all who do that, I say once if you're that type of person that doesn't move on easily, you don't like to start over with just anybody over and over and over again, please don't reopen that door for somebody you had to heal from. If you're not the type to bounce right back or something like that, go just do take a breather. But let that not be a breather. Let that be a dead bolted door that he don't get to come back in. Because otherwise you're teaching him that he can continue doing this. And then even worse, if he's doing this from the most manipulative place which is number five, a man that wants to take a break all of a sudden after being in a serious relationship because he's wanting to test those abandonment wounds of yours, if you have any. Now, if you're the type of woman, people abandon you, your dad, your mom, whoever, your ex, your children's father, your child's father, abandon you, he may want to test those abandonment wounds. 
If you told him all of this, that, and the other about your ex said, you weren't going to find nobody better. So this next one got to make it. This next one got to be the one. Uh, your mama, everybody looking at it. He may try to test those abandonment wounds. Now, in this type of situation, one, consider if you've ever told him anything like that. Or if he's gone out his way to impress those around you. This is a very manipulative tactic where a guy will try to leverage social pressure to keep you in the mix, even though he's doing things to really push you out. I don't know if y'all have ever had that. If you've ever felt the pressure from my friends love him, my mama love him, my kids love him, my da 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 love him. Be very careful if that man has done everything to impress those people around you. He's done things that, you know, you could show off in front of them or he's, he's done things in front of them. It's been a lot of showing, showing, showing in front of them somehow, but then behind closed doors, he's not that person. And then all of a sudden he wants to break up because he knows you're going to have to face a ton of embarrassment if you go to any of those people telling them that, hey, this relationship didn't work out. They may look at you crazy. And I wish I could say this is the kind of thing only young men did. No, there are men who are 40, 50, 60 years old playing this game because it's not about the age or the maturity of the man. It's really about power. It's, it's really a power play. So if you have abandonment wounds or you have some type of reluctance to ever leave a man, I'm, I'm not saying be one foot in, one foot out, but never give the man the, the idea that you'll never leave him. Never give the man the inclination that you will never, ever walk out that door. Or if you do, make sure you're not doing it from a place of actually not being able to leave for whatever reason. I'm not telling you to go manipulate, but never get to a point where you can never, ever leave a man and you get that across to him. Because he may try to use it against you to play in your face and have the safety and the comfort and security that you're going to be there waiting for him to get back and do it again. Now, again, there are a lot of guys who get this out of their system at a certain age, but there's some guys who don't. And this is why I say if you're over the age of 40, you actually have an advantage when it comes to checking a man's track record, decoding it, and seeing this type of pattern play out in multiple ways. Now, I went over that in a free video recently. It was actually a short one too, like five, six minutes, something like that. If you want access to that free video where I went in depth about how to decode a man's track record, exactly how to spot these types of guys, particularly for those of y'all who are over the age of 40. This don't really work for younger women, but for those of y'all over 40, these are some of the tools that you can use to date more effectively. I put that link down in the comments, also in the caption whenever you back out. The best free dating advice if you're over the age of 40 and you also date men who are also over the age of 40. But back to what I was saying, when you're dealing with a man and he used the whole mental health card. Y'all, I'm, I'm sensitive to mental health, but a lot of people are using the fact that the world as, as a whole is becoming more empathetic and sensitive to men's mental health, mental health in general. And some of them will use that to manipulate you. Or some of them will just misunderstand that that's their issue when really it's not. Really, they just want a vacation from the commitment. Really, they just want to play in your face and have those strings attached and knowing that you're not going out here doing what exactly they're about to be doing. And if that's the case, I say, let them do what they want to do. Just don't let them do it with you at all. Anything ever. But those are just my thoughts. I'm your internet brother trying to look out per usual. And if you got anything from this, I don't need your money. I don't want your money. Put it away. But I do want you to pay this forward to somebody else on your timeline by hitting that share button. Bless them the same way that you got blessed. And if you're over the age of 40 and you want to know the completely different dating strat strategy that you need in order to identify and be more attractive to mature men who can actually stimulate you on that level without running into the same games you've been playing the last 20, 30 years with people and you ain't signed up to play them, click the link that you see pinned down in the comments, also in the caption whenever you back out. Holla at y'all, lady, I'll be good.